And so we've come to the three little piggies of federal ships. This time I'll be taking a look at the dense one, and the cheapest one. Coming at a price of 14 mil and requires rank 4 in federal navy, yes, this fucking thing's locked behind the stupid system. So repeat after me, grind, grind, grind all day. Well, anyways, let's see what Core Dynamics actually brought us for that price. From outside, I can tell you immediately. I'm repulsed! The body of the thing is somewhat okay, I guess, but what really cheeses me are those damn wings! Those damn backwards installed wings in front. Honestly, Core Dynamics. Did your designers drink bleach laced with Jaeger bombs while designing this thing, or did they play pin the wing on the ship while testing some drugs imported from Alliance headquarters? I know, glider type aircraft sometimes has slightly inverted wings, but not this much. Plus, what's the point of those damn wings? You only have turning thrusters on the upper back wings, so what's the purpose of the rest? The only answer I can come up with is incompetence paired with 10 year old's thinking process. Oh look, the ship's gonna have wings facing the wrong way! How wacky and unusually cool is that? Well, it's not, you dumb fucks, it's ugly and stupid! Honestly, the only part I like, if you can even say that much, in the ship design is the front part. And speaking of the front, how about cockpit? Well, coming from Eagle and Vulture? Holy fucksticks, the cockpit's amazing! Well, not quite as amazing as Eagle cockpit when I first saw it, Dropship nonetheless has really good visibility and pretty cool looking glass holding lines, or however they were called. It really gives me the feeling that even without HUD or whenever the cockpit glass breaks, thanks to those lines I would be still able to aim. Not only that, but you also have another seat for multi-crew behind pilot's seat that mimics what Vulture has. But unlike with Vulture, this seat actually serves some purpose. And no, I'm not talking about dedicated co-pilot that writes stupid shit in the chat. Still, the best thing is, this fucking ship actually has liquid dispensers on both sides of the pilot. So you can have coffee on your right and yogurt, acid, horse cum or rum on your left so you can pirate to your heart's content. Only other ship that had similar luxury was Adder that had actual cup holders. But yeah, Dropship is missing some cup holders for full comfort. Oh well. Now then, let's dive into some actual functional stuff. First, as the looks might imply, this is a heavy ship. In fact, this is almost twice as heavy as the next heaviest ship in the price range, the Asp Explorer. So what did Core Dynamics cram into this thing? Much like with Space Merc and Thanksgiving Turkey, this thing's ass is full of good stuff. Power plant is large enough to support almost everything you put on it, power distributor is highest class in the price range, and hardpoint amount made my Johnny stiff when I saw them. <laughs> The whole placement for those hard points is rather weird, three on the bottom and one on each side. So putting fixed weapons on the side might not be the best idea, but it can work out. Oh, and armor for dropship 2 is outstanding, making it the most hull tanky ship by quite a margin compared to any other cheaper ship. Also it's worth mentioning that dropship additionally has the biggest cargo bay in the price range, so that's interesting. But of course we won't escape the bad parts about the thing. Due to so many bells and whistles crammed into it, that would probably make some porn stars jealous. This little federal piggy is the least maneuverable as well as the slowest ship for the price. Now you might have already noticed that I did not mention shields. Well, they are so small it's hard to even admit that this ship even has shields. See, Asp Explorer has more shield HP and as a surprise to myself, Viper 4 has very slightly weaker shields without boosters. For a ship that's basically as agile as Elephant on Mobility Scooter, you will get shot a lot. Still, shields for the ship are like clothes of a stripper. They get taken off almost immediately, and when they are on, they create pointless illusions. The real strength of this thing is in the armor, and yes, the ship is one of those hull tankers, a ship type that I hate with passion. But here's the thing, as many PvP players have proven, this dense little piggy can stand up to some incredible punishment, while dishing out a lot of it too. Funniest part about the ship is that it's categorized as heavy multi-purpose. You what, mate? Okay, granted, cargo bay is big, weapons are plentiful, but when it comes to actually moving this thing, you might as well call in a tow truck, as the speed, maneuverability, and jump range of the ship are one of the worst things any ship in the game has. In fact, jump range is the second worst, only beaten by the tough little piggy, the fed gunship. Well, okay, I guess you can call this thing a heavy multi-purpose, but I prefer rather to call the ship the trooper pooper, as a little reference to my days in planet side 2. And speaking of the name, why doesn't this thing have fighter bay? Only other ship that had similar luxury was added that had cock holders. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs>